Starting this video has been hard, as it marks the end of the Good Morning Miss Bliss slash Junior High year. It means I end one saga to begin another in the form of Saved by the Bell proper, and that involves some psychological fortitude. Another problem in getting started is that an element of this episode makes me want to watch better television elsewhere. Oh, Bonnie McMurray! I guess I'm off to watch Letter Kenny. The world is coming to an end tomorrow morning! Wait, what? Well, I guess I better pay more attention here. It turns out that this guy is James Lyman. He was Miss Bliss's 8th grade history teacher. The class laps up his dusty old jokes, but one guy in the audience saves his best laugh for Screech. One day she came to class without her homework. She swore a space alien zapped her and stole her assignment on Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, good excuse there, Miss Bliss. That happened to you too? <laughs> Thanks for coming to the taping, Dad. At lunch, Lisa does a hard press to get Nikki out of sports. What are you trying to tell me? Guys don't want to date a girl who spits all over the pitcher's mound. I don't spit all over the pitcher's mound. I spit on the ball. While Lisa's intentions may be to squash Nikki's tomboyism, maybe she should point out that Nikki's a friggin' cheater. Oh, come on, Lisa. Guys like girls who play sports, don't they? Can confirm. On the other side of the cafeteria, Belding seriously scares Mr. Lyman. He's the man responsible for me becoming a teacher. You. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I bet you're the principal. How did you know? <laughs> Who else would tell a joke like that? The world is coming to an end tomorrow morning. Belding then asks Miss Bliss for a complicated report. But I'll need a substitute then. There are no substitutes. This old fart could substitute. I don't know. Come on, Belding, for the plot! Okay. How oh, serendipitous! Well, it seems that Lisa got her wish, as Nikki tells her crew that she won't pitch anymore. Zach helps her remember a superstar pitching performance, and Nikki is clearly about to change her mind. Nikki Coleman, what a guy! Until Screech beefs it. And there goes your star pitcher. Another day, Milo busts Zack and Mikey in the halls after the bell. Zack shows off his hall pass for Mr. Lyman. Milo tells Mr. Belding that the hall pass doesn't expire until July. Hello, Milo. Mr. Belding relays the information to Miss Bliss. With her class just starting, she and Belding go to ask Mr. Lyman about the hall pass, but there ain't no one there. After some searching... Some good news. Mr. Morton saw them scaling the south fence and heading into the woods. The good news is that Mr. Morton still exists in this universe. The bad news is we get a retread of the previous episode's shortcomings. You see, Mr. Lyman claims he didn't know taking the kids off campus was against the rules. This is all my fault. I, I never told Mr. Lyman the rule. Like I said, it's like the last episode where Mr. Belding didn't tell Miss Bliss how to be the principal. Should I have been wrapping this storyline too? Another day, Mr. Lyman conducts a rather immersive Civil War lesson. Screech dies and expresses that unrequited love hinted at in episode 2. Miss Bliss, who doesn't seem to be taking much advantage of having a substitute teacher, is not pleased with the lesson. Maybe it's because she gets jacked in the face with paper ordnance. Who knows? She scolds Mr. Lyman, and he leaves. Now, to be fair... Well, to be fair... 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 Mr. Lyman is kind of a tool. I'm glad we agree on something. Mr. Belding. Look, while you two argue, I'm going to the cafeteria to meet my class. I promised I'd have dessert with them. Explain that to him. Sick burn, bro? Mr. Lyman, this is my history class. I would prefer it taught in a more constructive manner. More constructive? Well, if you really feel like that... I do. And the class is all yours. He later stops by Miss Bliss's house to continue being a tool. 
No, I just thought I'd come by and give you a chance to apologize. Me apologize? I accept. He then goes on a rant about school systems, forgetting that learning is what's important. Also that he's old and no one understands him and that he's done teaching and bah humbug. You know what? Maybe I'll take my class for a history walk tomorrow. You know, kid, you were always my favorite. It would be sad if he didn't suck. Also, I don't see the conflict here, as Miss Bliss has showcased a similar teaching style, as in the Bliss Challenge. So what was the point of this story? And I would be remiss if I didn't share how lame it was that Miss Bliss held onto her 8th grade papers to show off to Mr. Lyman. I remember this paper. You deserved an A. You should have complained. I did complain. No! And one more thing to clear up. That hall pass that expires in July. Here's Mr. Lyman's explanation. Obviously, you didn't look at it any closer than young Morris did at first. The date is July 3rd, 1863, to be exact. But that's the day the Battle of Gettysburg ended. Very good, Carrie. <laughs> and Zach Morris will never forget that date either. Uh, I know the video here isn't super clear, but it seems to me that this handwritten part is Zach's name, and this handwritten part is Mr. Lyman's name. Where's the date? And if there is a date, how did Zach, Milo, and Miss Bliss all miss it? Your lesson didn't work! In the bathroom, Lisa tries to initiate Nikki into the makeup club, but Nikki gets a sterling moment of self-identity. But I've got fake nails, fake eyelashes, and, and fake jewelry. Why am I doing this? So the third baseman can notice the real you. <laughs> How can he notice the real me? I can't even notice the real me. <sighs> That's not true. I know who I am. I'm a killer southpaw. A wicked slider. It's a solid moment in an otherwise disappointing episode. But wait a minute. Didn't we hear Nikki say... I'm a killer southpaw. Southpaw is a term for being left-handed. Why are you throwing with your right? Let's put something into perspective here. This is the last episode of Good Morning, Miss Bliss. The season and series finale, if you will. How did the producers decide to end it all? With an over-the-top joke? With a reunion of some of our favorite guest stars? Nope. Mr. Lyman quoting the Gettysburg Address. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation might live. I mean, it's pretty well done, but geez. Besides, I prefer my historical reenactors to be of the sexy Ben Franklin type. Robert Donner played Mr. Lyman. He's been in a ton of stuff, so you've probably seen him somewhere. He had pretty significant roles in shows like Mork and Mindy, as well as The Waltons. He also had roles in Western vehicles like Chisholm, Rio Lobo, and my personal favorite, the Man Who Loved Cat Dancing! Nah, I'm just kidding. I'd never heard of that movie until now. My favorite western he was in is El Dorado. Robert Donner acted until his death in 2006. And that's the season. We'll probably have to do a recap episode. Milo, what are you doing? I'm just watching the drinking fountain. 